Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to the new video. In this video, here we have the question 1 power x equal to 3 and we have to find out the value of the x. So in the first step, we will multiply by ln on both the sides. So it will be ln 1 power x equal to ln 3. Now using the property, so x into ln 1 equal to ln 3. So dividing both sides by ln 1, therefore ln 1, ln 1 will be cancelled. So we will get x equal to ln 3 divided by 0 because we know that ln 1 is equal to 0. So anything divided by 0 is undefined. So we can say that there is no real solution, but there may be a complex solution. For that, we will use the Euler's formula and check that whether the complex solution exists or not. Therefore, since the Euler's formula says e power i into theta equal to cos theta plus i sine theta, so e power i into 0 so we will keep 0 instead of theta equal to cos 0 plus i sine 0 so it will be e power 0 equal to cos 0 is 1 plus sine 0 is 0 so it will be 0 we know that anything power 0 is 0 so e power 0 will be 1 equal to 1 so both the sides are equal it means we can say that there must be a complex solution now we will put theta equal to 2k pi where k is the integer and the value of k may be 1, 2, 3 and so on. So e power i 2k pi instead of theta equal to cos 2k pi plus i sine 2k pi. Now we will put the value of k as 1. So e power i 2k pi will be e power i into 2 pi because the k is 1. So equal to cos 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi so cos 2 pi is 1 plus sine 2 pi will be 0. So 1 plus 0 that will be 1. Now we will put the value of k equal to 2. So e power i into 4 pi because k is 2. So 2k it means 2 into 2 that will be 4. So 4 pi equal to cos 4 pi plus i sine 4 pi. So cos 4 pi is 1. So 1 plus 0 that will be 1. And in the same way we will put the value of k equal to 3. So it will be e power i into 2k pi so k will be put as 3 so it will be i into 6 pi equal to cos 6 pi plus i sine 6 pi so cos 6 pi is 1 so 1 plus 0 equal to 1 now we observe that whatever we are putting the value of k the answer is coming 1 therefore e power i 2k pi will be equal to 1 so since in the question we know that 1 power x is equal to 3 so we will put this value instead of 1 in this question so it will be e power i 2k pi whole power x equal to 3 so e power i 2k pi x equal to 3 now multiplying by ln on both the sides so it will be ln e power i 2k pi x equal to ln 3 so since we know that ln e is equal to 1 so it will be i 2k pi x equal to ln 3 Therefore, x will be equal to ln3 divided by i2k pi. So for writing this value in the standard form, we will multiply by i on both the sides. So we will get x equal to i ln3 divided by i square into 2k pi. So i square is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the value of x will be equal to minus i ln3 divided by 2k pi, where we can say that k is not equal to 0. I hope you understand. Thank you for watching this video.